Hi, everybody, and welcome to my Friday Focus series, in which I apply the tenets of structural valuation analysis to current stock market conditions. My name is Ross Healy, and I'm the chairman of Strategic Analysis Corporation, an investment advisory firm with a very unique take on the investment process. Every now and then, I find a stock which is so compelling that I wonder why or how that that stock manages to stay at the price valuation that it's at. Sometimes it's the cheapness which recommends it to me. Sometimes the stock appears to be so expensive and risky that I'm unable to guesstimate the reasons that it is where it's at. Well, I've got a live one for you today, and the name of that company is Telus. So let's take a peek at the SVA chart, and I think you can immediately see what I am talking about. Just standing still means that you are losing money with that falling balance sheet. In other words, the balance sheet is steadily slipping away. Now, why is that? Two things. First, look at the fair market value line. That's that dotted line on the chart. It's been falling for some years now. Now, 10 years ago, the earnings supported the shares, but they have slipped to the point where the current price and the current fair market value are the same, or at least they were until the stock began falling away very recently. In other words, there was no visible upside to the stock. Since I only like buying stocks that have good upside potential, at best, this is, was a pointless hole. Part of the reason for the declining earnings and the fair market value is the miserable regulatory climate for the big three Canadian telecoms. The CRTC has this madcap idea that you have to share your technology, your monopoly position with other smaller competitors. You just can't charge what you want and keep others out course, the overall market is also becoming quite mature now. There is not the growth that there once was. Hardware sales and internet services are growing slowly as well. But why is the balance sheet declining? Well, let's look at the earnings and the dividend payout. Right now, the company is paying out more than its earnings. Here's the dividend, $1.67, and there are the earnings, $1.06. And look at last year, it was only 77 cents. Right now, I think that the company is going to have to cut its dividend, and I think they're going to have to cut it by a full 50% to get back to a remotely reasonable payout ratio. And the ratio that I chose was an 80% payout. If you think that's too high, then the cut would have to be even greater. And that may well be the case. If you're gonna cut, make it good. Well, you know what happened in Northland Power? When they cut to a more reasonable level, the shares plunged by 28%. And they are still slipping. Small wonder that the TELUS management is so reluctant to make that cut. Note, by the way, that since the Northland Power cut, that the TELUS shares have been oozing lower. Do you suppose that the market suspects that something may be in the air? My advice to TELUS management, it is increasingly clear that they already see you coming. Get the dirty deed out of the way and drive on. As a rule, I do not recommend short selling, but I would leave anything like this up to your imagination and risk tolerance. Next week, I will follow this up by taking a hard look at BCE and Rogers, and we will see if either or both of these stocks would make a good alternative investment to TELUS. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in this week, 
and I'll see you next Friday, same time, same station.